here we are, and this is my first guest tonight on Monterey on Tonight. This is Mr. Luke Martin. Yes, sir. And you're no uh, relation to uh, Dean Martin, No, are you? no, uh, only in that we are both singers, and he was a little older than I am. Okay, and how about Steve Martin? <laughs> Uh, no relation, no, no to, relation Steve to Steve either, either. Yeah. but I sure enjoy his comedy. I mean, he's a he's a genius. Yeah, well, my he's wife is working on a, a Netflix series for us, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to get Steve Martin to play me. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, well, it's it's a uh, similarity. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, I you know. no, honestly, uh, it's kind of a joke. But, <laughs> uh, but Juliana is working on uh, the Netflix series, so uh, if it ever happens. Uh, we're going to reach out to Steve. But you're no relation to Steve Martin. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm my own Martin. You're the yeah. own Martin. Is that your real name now, Luke? Um, yes. It Ever is. since my parents changed it. Oh, that. okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> you want to say what your real name is? Um, it, it was originally Larry Martin. Oh. Which came from um, Lawrence Bloom. Oh. Okay, but but it was changed before Sorry. I really entered the world. Ah. <laughs> and he is a local. He's a guy who is right here on the Monterey Peninsula. And, in fact, he... Dylan, can we get a shot of this album? That's his musical album. And uh, say the name of your album. Re Re Rejuvenescence. Rejuvenescence. And, and I've got to give Gennady over at Mission Ranch a lot there, of credit for Gennady that There's Gennady on the back yeah. with you. And Gennady is the one that uh, produced, it, produced arranged it, it, arranged it. And, um, wow. and, and did the orchestrations wow. for wow, it. Wow, wow, wow. Well, and yeah. now I understand every once in a while you sing out at the Mission Ranch. Well, I'm I'm going back there now. Uh, I've gone into touring uh, and doing local shows for senior groups. Uh -huh. uh, you know, uh, since I got here back in uh, the late '90s, um, and that was a touring show, uh -huh. and and uh, I was singing to some of my own tracks. Wow! That I made with Gennady. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Well, you know, it, it, if you're in show business, and this guy is in show business, obviously. Uh, he's been doing performing for a long time. And uh, Wendy Brickman is the one who was able to get me, uh, this gentleman, to be a guest on the show. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> yes, thank you, Wendy. Yeah, absolutely. It was fun uh, to, uh, to meet you tonight for the very first time. And... Uh, Luke's been around the peninsula, and of course, if you know Gennady, Gennady's been the pianist at the Mission Ranch for many, many years. I think, what, 30 years, something like that, yeah, Luke? Yeah, he was doing it back in 1990. Yep, yep, and, so um, how many years is that? And and I've watched him uh, really master that, oh, uh, yeah, that yeah. show that he does. He does a great show, and you yeah. know, uh, I have, and, and we're going to have to get together, I've been uh, going out to the Mission Ranch here over the last uh, couple of years now mm -hmm. and singing at the piano bar after 8 o'clock because you yeah. can't sing before mm -hmm. 8 o'clock. Not now. No. no but in the old days, the they changed yeah, the time. Yeah. And they used to stay open until 11, and now they close at 9.30. I know. Everything was that closes COVID? early. That was, was that COVID? COVID messed a lot of things up. I yeah. actually had to stop my touring show for about almost three years, and I was teaching classes for the city of Monterey oh, wow. uh, in both uh, singing and dancing. So, Well, you know what's interesting about Carmel now? And I was over there last night. Yeah, There's only one place in Carmel that stays open f with serving food mm -hmm. after 9 o'clock, yeah. and that's Demetra. Bashar, who has been a guest on our show, owns Demetra, and Demetra stays open and serves food till 11 o'clock in Carmel. The only place in Carmel that you can get a hot meal after 9 o'clock. Well, we have to give them credit. Absolutely. And you I think all see... we got in Monterey is Denny's. So. <laughs> <laughs> you should see the people last night because I was in there. You should see the people who were coming in after 9 o'clock so hungry. It was amazing. I thought, Gee whiz, only one restaurant in all of Carmel that stays mm -hmm. open after 9 o'clock. And that's a Greek restaurant, right? Well, it's Mediterranean. Yeah, yeah. Bashar, Bashar is, uh, mm -hmm. is from the uh, 
the other side of the pond, as they say. I'll join you there sometime. You know what? It's a great restaurant, and uh, nothing wrong with Mission Ranch. We love Mission Ranch. Yeah. But uh, they close early. It's like, yeah. why? Yeah. yeah. And they stop serving early, yeah, too. That's what I mean. They yeah. stop serving yeah. early. I right. mean, you go over there at 9.30 at night at Mission Ranch, and everybody's gone. Yeah. In the old days, it was action till 11 o'clock. In anyway. the old days, it was action until 12.30. All right, you there know? you go. See, Luke was there. Yeah. <laughs> but one thing about Luke, uh, and mm. you've got so much here on your resume, my goodness gracious. Movie production with John Voight, the Tin Soldier. Affiliation with Debbie Reynolds at her North Hollywood Studios, singing, acting, and dancing. Hollywood Center Studios, Kodak Corporation, grants for mm. performing arts in Bancroft Cinema, Western Electronic Consumer Convention, Las Vegas and Anaheim, acting resume in Hollywood. You have yeah. been around, young man. I, I did that for 25 years down there. And uh, <clears throat> I started here, actually, uh, in, in Monterey when I got back from a three-year trip around the world. Oh, my goodness. Uh, with a backpack and a, and a duffel bag <laughs> on my back. And... Uh, uh, went all throughout the Middle East and did about six months in India and and learned yoga and came back here and taught it. Well, you are a fascinating guy because I see right here on this resume, Jerry Lewis was looking for a troupe of, uh, of folks to entertain seniors, and he asked Luke to do a show called the Go Like 60s show. Tell us about the Go Like 60s show. Yeah, I stumbled into that. You don't have to that. get so close to that. Oh, sorry. It's a, no, no, yeah. it's okay. Just so I stumbled, pick you up. I stumbled into that uh, situation, and everything was starting to gel for me, you know? Um, I was hustling, you yeah. know, like um, yeah. all the actors have to do. Right. And looking for an agent and everything. And um, I was informed that they needed somebody to do uh, a show similar to all the kinds of things I was doing, you know, mm. um, musical uh, numbers. I worked with a, uh, so, some famous songwriters, and um, one, one of the guys, uh, well, anyway, I, I worked with these uh, well-known songwriters, and we had a troupe of six people. And the show was written for uh, seniors who were trying to learn how to uh, cope with their later years. Ah. And uh, the show originally had uh, six show business veterans. I was only 35 at the time. You were just a kid. But Jerry said, well, can you, can you be the MC?" And I said... What what's the script like? And he showed me part of it, and I said, I can learn this in two days. And, and you uh, did. And I learned it, and I was with them for two and a half years. Wow, 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 wow. And, um, and it was perfect for me, because yeah. what I was able to do was I, I was out there auditioning for as many jobs as I could get, but this gave me a steady job as an actor entertainer with a salary oh my goodness so you got paid i got paid that for means you were a professional thank you right <laughs> that's, well, see, that's in showbiz you can do all the shows you want but if you don't get paid you're not a pro right so and uh, at that time they were trying to get people to pay to be in theater ah, productions oh wow so yeah. i said well that's not for me yeah you know yeah, yeah. Let, give me a job <laughs> well, and Luke, i got where, one where can we see you now i see this uh joy of singing class you uh are uh, involved in this um and is it every wednesday at the monterey youth center well it went on hiatus okay. when during the pandemic i see okay and um Things have just started loosening up enough where I can do that because they, at one point when I was trying to resume the class, they said, well, we can only teach this class if, if everybody wears masks. And oh, I my said, goodness. How are you going to do that if you're a singer? <laughs> I guess that's, that's, that's what I thought. Mask on. Uh, <laughs> 
la, 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 la. <laughs> so, so is this something you're going to resume then? I'm in the process of putting that back together. Joy of singing class, and this is what they did prior to COVID. Every Wednesday, they would have a singing for fun, vocal technique, breathing, song presentations, performance techniques, uh, and finding out how to get a gig. So... Luke is the guy who was doing that, and I hope you bring it back because it sounds fabulous. Right. It really I'm, does. This is the one I want to bring back. Yeah, uh, that's I was great. also teaching a ballroom dance class, and um, <clears throat> uh, I, I terminated that one a little earlier, uh, and I handed that over to a group of uh, seniors, a band called Moonglow that... Uh, runs a similar program to what I had been doing, and they do that in Salinas. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Well, you've been here on the peninsula a long time. Yes, I have. And so we're going to see more of this gentleman <laughs> on this show because uh, he is connected, and that's the way you have to be if you're in showbiz in a small market like, uh, like Monterey. And you know what? Uh, I just was sharing with Shallow, our co-host tonight, yeah. that I'm working on getting this show into an auditorium where we can have a studio audience. Well, that would be great. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have you on, and you can actually sing and perform then. I'll be happy to uh, do all of those I love things. it. I love it. Well, yeah. you stay tuned mm -hmm. because I'm working on it. I don't know how soon it's going to happen. We're looking at a couple of venues to be able to have maybe 40 or 50 people in a studio audience. And then we're going to do it like the big shows do. If you could get a show over at Shoreline. Shoreline. Over where uh, the old AMP uh, studio used to oh, be. Oh, well, we got to be close yeah. to hotels okay, so yeah. that we can give tickets away sure. at the hotels oh, yeah. for people to come to the show. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. the plan. Yeah. But we're working on it, you know, so I keep my fingers crossed because it's kind of like the step up from what we're doing now. You know, mm -hmm. we've been doing this show almost a year. And it's just basically very simple in the Seaside Sand City Chamber building. So you can see we were in very small quarters here. But we had all this equipment here because uh, the executive director of the chamber, Jim Vossen, let us bring all this television equipment in here. And Isn't that great? So we're making TV right here in Monterey and or Seaside yeah. in the yeah. Sand City Chamber building. Did you have a hard time finding us? Um, no, I came over a couple of days ago oh, and, you, and walked around. Oh, good for you. You figured out where we were. Well, yeah. I noticed while we were talking, somebody was knocking on the side door. <laughs> I heard that. Trying to get in. <laughs> so they didn't know where the front door was. Anyway, thank you for being here tonight. Hey, thank you so much. I, I look yeah. forward to having you on our show when we get the studio audience, and then you can oh, sing great. and entertain. I'll do all of that, and we might even, uh, you know, have somebody join me in a dance number yeah, during absolutely. the middle of the song. I love it. I love the idea. That's the of way that. the show goes. Okay, Luke. Thank so. you, Luke Martin, ladies and gentlemen.